He said, a unique place with a strong vision. And I was thinking, this is the place. And she's Lapa Art Champion, many years in a row. Oh! I'm in Dublin as the head judge for both the Irish Barista and Latte Art Championships being held at KTEX in RDS Simmons Court. It's three days of non-stop coffee action featuring the finest baristas in Ireland competing for the chance to represent the country at the World Championships later in the year. After an overnight flight across the pond to the Emerald Isle and a check-in at the hotel, it's time to head out with old friend and fellow judge Renata Molisco to shake off the jet lag and check out some of the coffee scene. As we only have time to visit one shop, I asked Renato which place speaks with a strong voice. Place led by craftsmen. And we're on the way to Richmond Hill to visit a shop owned by champions. They are champions, that's why I'm expecting extraordinary service. You know? Are they here? Hello. 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 This is Renata, four-time Latte Art Champion of Ireland. Quite possibly, she's the most decorated champion in the world today. There's some coffee. What coffee would you like? You want filter or you want flat white? What, what do you is think it? is the coffee that best represents this shop? The filter bar, the brew bar. Okay. Yeah, this is the number one. <laughs> you said filter is the, the first one is the best option, yeah? Uh, well, it depends what you like. So everyone likes like a blind monkey because it's really boozy, very interesting coffee that everyone is going for it, so it's really, really popular and most popular in the brew bar. We're going to take one filter and uh, probably... Which one would you like to go? One or two? Uh, blind monkey. One blind monkey? Do you want to try espressos? Do you the same or you want to try something different? So we have Brazil, Peru, Ethiopia. Okay, don't you worry, I'll look after you. Oh. Are you recording everything while I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yes, we can't see them. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Yeah, no problem. I have a nice Peru for yourself. Here. So you can enjoy those too. The shots look terrific. Nice and rich crema. What more could you ask for? Yeah, I'm really impressed. As I said, I haven't been here before, so it's uh, good. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> When you're dead, you can't drink you in a normal way. <laughs> oh wow, I like that. I do, yeah. So I'll be on YouTube in the United States as well. That you will, that you will. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's nice and juicy. I like this smell. Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. That's really pretty. That's mm -hmm. very pretty. Yeah, it's got a good body, depth, lingering aftertaste. But well, we're not here to judge, okay? <laughs> no, we're not judging, we're just talking about it so that the this viewers will understand this what's happening. Mm. Uh, <laughs> see, this is my life. <laughs> nice but doesn't have this wow effect I am big fan of Ethiopia in general uh, as a filter or espresso I love Ethiopian coffee so maybe that's why it doesn't have that much complexity it's balanced yeah it's okay <laughs> oh yeah it's definitely a little bit sharper when, when you drink this and then after this it's like, okay, it's, it's quite interesting. But... It's a brighter coffee. This, this is kind of more of that Nordic style. So it really accentuates the brightness, the acidity, the puckering factor. I like that we do a little better. Nice, round, robust, nice. lingering. It's complex and yeah, it's well blue as well. Definitely. Oh yes, I mean, especially after this. <laughs> especially it's after coffee. this. <laughs> no, it's nothing wrong with this coffee. It's coffee. just normal coffee. Right, right. It just doesn't belong in the same palace. Yeah. I really need to check your YouTube video. Oh no. Oh no coffee. Oh no, oh no coffee. Oh yeah, I have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so subscribe. Every time you're gonna add something new, I'm gonna... 
Get the notice. Get the notice. Excellent. I never do that to anyone. Oh, thank so. you. Thank you. Oh, very, very exciting. Very exciting. I think the cups are very pretty. Beautiful. I think the rim is too thick. I would like it to be thinner just to get a better feel. Oh, I see. Like it, my lips are spread up more it's a apart. Fellow cups. I like this goldish at the bottom. I would like the uh, the rim to be thinner. Mm -hmm. I think we have a seat over there. Oh, that's good. Cool. You're gonna be sharing. You said What's we will that? share. Yes. The other half of this powerhouse team is Renata's husband, Arvin, who is the 2018 barista and 2020 Team Masters Champion of Ireland. Arvin is focused on preparing our single origin coffee from local roaster Blind Monkey, also owned by a two-time barista champion. So much, so much champion is happening here. Yeah. I don't feel I'm worthy for this palace. I'm a savory note. I want to see bacon and eggs. It's an aerobic floral, it's a very ripe fruit. I would say, yeah. Really? Floral and fruit? No, no floral. Oh, ripe you? fruits. Ripe. Ripe fruits like uh, fermented fruits, maybe. Oh, That's why uh, probably you're getting that savor. Could be like uh, a durian, maybe? I have no idea how durian uh, smells like. Uh, you haven't experienced that. I heard a lot about it, but. I have an experience. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's got this kind of funk. It, to me, it's like bacon and eggs. Oh, really? I don't know why. I mean, maybe I'm just like going crazy now. Maybe you need breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I probably do. I mean, it's a fascinating aroma. To me, it's very savory, yeah. Very, like, almost like a spicy, like almost like a chorizo on the nose. Oh, that's just so weird. But it, t it tastes nothing like the smell. It yeah. does have this kind of, you know, it does have a durian esque kind of flavor to it. Like this, this I don't know what's that I don't know, durian. But that, that funkiness that, that you're tasting, mm -hmm. it does remind me of durian. I need to try durian. That must come from the fermentation. So you liking that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah That's a blind one tree one, yeah, we'll buy we'll check. The idea was an aerobic fermentations, uh, give some unique flavors from the orange bourbon. We're looking for strawberry cream and a rhubarb. Okay. I guess some of that savoriness comes from that rhubarb thing. Very interesting from kibuzi, but not over fermented. Right. Because it's more often anaerobic uh, or carbonium maceration can be uh, too fermented, like too much, like um, going towards acetic acid. Balsamic vinegar kind of thing. Oh, yes, flavor. Yes, yes. This one doesn't have it's a really perfect. Uh, balance for me. It's a very smooth setup. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of anaerobics and carbonics because of this balsamic vinegar. Uh, if it's not done well, then it will have this balsamic kind of taste and it's just nothing worse in the coffee. Like it's too much, you know. I don't like it personally. Yes, yes. Yeah, but this one doesn't have it, so it is yeah. definitely perfect. Ooh, there it is, Brew Lab. Unique experience. Very, very unique, very unique, very, very strong. I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. Oh, we have to look. <laughs> I'm gonna get hit by a car here. Great attention to details, uh, high level of expertise, and yeah, and service was great. Mm. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. All right.